Hello, my name is Francisca Malfi. And my name is Sophie Simons. We work at the Center for Medical Genetics Ghent, which is located at the campus of the Ghent University Hospital, Belgium. In this video, we wish to present our manuscript in which we studied defects in the carboxythermal propeptide domain, or in short, the C-propeptide domain of type 1 procollagen, and provide a molecular explanation on how these defects cause a brittle bone disease, osteogenesis imperfecta. Osteogenesis imperfecta, or OI, is characterized by a variable degree of bone fragility with susceptibility to bone fractures and limb deformities, growth deficiency, blue sclery, dentinogenesis imperfecta and hearing impairment. In approximately 85% of all OI patients, a mutation is identified in one of the genes encoding type 1 procollagen, the Col1A1 and the Col1A2 gene. Type 1 collagen, the principal protein in bone and many other connective tissues, is synthesized as a precursor molecule, procollagen, which consists of two pro-alpha-1 and one pro-alpha-2 chain. Each pro-alpha chain typically contains a central triple helix domain, which is flanked by two globular extensions, the amino terminal and carboxy terminal propeptides. The C propeptides, which have a highly conserved sequence, are essential for correct selection and association of the three pro alpha chains, thereby initiating triple helix formation. After completion of the triple helix, the procollagens are cleaved, thereby triggering the assembly of collagen molecules into fibrils. As such, the C propeptides have crucial roles in tissue growth and repair. Interestingly, only a small fraction of all known type 1 procollagen mutations reside in the C propeptide domain. With our study, we aim to provide insights into the genotype phenotype correlations underlying type 1 procollagen C propeptide mutations. We reviewed the clinical, molecular, and biochemical data on 30 C propeptide variants identified at the Center for Medical Genetics Ghent. We compared our data with previously published data on C-propeptide mutations. The total number of type 1 procollagen C-propeptide variants identified is 83, which constitutes approximately 6.5% of all type 1 procollagen defects. Clear genotype-phenotype correlations emerged from this study. Pathogenic variants that do not allow association of the mutant chain generally result in mild OI. These can be divided in two groups. Firstly, pathogenic variants that generate a premature termination codon and that induce nonsense-mediated mRNA decay lead to the production of less type 1 procollagen. In addition, a few pathogenic variants have been reported that lead to production of mutant pro-alpha-1-1 chains with an altered C-propeptide sequence, but which are rapidly degraded inside the cell and not included in the type 1 procollagen heterotrimer. A second group are pathogenic Col1A1 variants that result in the production of stable mutant pro-alpha chains that can be incorporated into the type 1 procollagen heterotrimers, thereby delaying their folding. Intracellular accumulation of these misfolded chains has been shown to activate the unfolded protein response and increase endoplasmic reticulum stress. These defects generally cause the most severe OI phenotypes. The third group are pathogenic variants located in the C propeptide of the pro alpha 2 chain. Generally, these are associated with a milder OI phenotype when compared to their counterparts in the pro alpha 1 chain. Recent elucidation of the crystal structure of the type 3 procollagen has shown that the C propeptide domain, or CP3 for short, has the shape of a flower with three petals, each corresponding to an individual polypeptide chain connected together at the base. Within the base region, each chain contains a tightly bound calcium ion, shown in blue, and interaction between chains are stabilized by interchain sulfate bonds, which are shown in yellow. Because the amino acid sequence of CP3 is highly similar to that from procollagen type 1 or short CP1, we use the structure of CP3 to predict the expected consequences of OI-related missense variants in CP1. Two examples are shown. The first variant leads to the replacement of a polar threonin at posi position 1431 by a hydrophobic isoleucine. Threonin 1431 normally forms hydrogen bonds with lysine 1433 and arginine 1436, which are involved in chain trimerization. Replacement of threonin by isoleucine 
will disrupt these hydrogen bonds and destabilize the trimer consistent with the OI type 4 phenotype. Not far away, the hydrophobic isoleucine 1439 is replaced by a polar trionin. Since isoleucine 1439 is buried in a strongly hydrophobic environment, replacement by a polar amino acid will also be destabilizing consistent with the observed severe Y phenotype. As such, this study demonstrates that the crystal structure of CP3 is a reliable tool to predict phenotypic severity for most Col1A1 ciprofeptide missense variants. With this, we would like to thank our co-authors, all referring physicians and last but not least, all OI patients.